uh, welcome to our YouTube channel, uh, Swim My Shack's YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be doing a product review of two of the snorkels that we stock here in the shop. Um, so these are both frontal snorkels. Um, so we've got the Speedo snorkel, it's a pretty cool colour. Um, and we've also got the Phelps snorkel. Uh, now with the Phelps snorkel, um, it does come in two different sizes. Uh, so it comes a small and a regular size. Um, so the differences between the two sizes are, so you'll notice uh, the width size. So uh, the regular is obviously slightly wider. Um, and then the mouthpiece size as well is quite a difference. Um, the headpiece also is smaller on the small size. Um, so typically the small size will be for 12 and unders, but it obviously depends on uh, head size and also mouth size as well. A um, few differences between the two. So what I really like about the Phelps snorkel, um, it's quite a narrow shape. So when you're, you're wearing it and you're swimming or swimming faster, what you tend to find with more circular shaped um, snorkels is they'll tend to wobble around quite a bit. Um, so with the Phelps snorkel, because it is a narrow shape, it's quite streamlined, um, it won't wobble around at all. Um, what I also really like about the Phelps snorkel is uh, the mouthpiece. So, so the mouthpiece um, has a part on it where it kind of sits in the roof of your mouth. You'll see it a little bit there. So this part will sit on the roof of your mouth. Um, and I tend to find that my front teeth slot in quite comfortably um, on the snorkel as well. Um, so they're the main differences um, between the two. Um, generally the size in both the mouth, mouthpiece, uh, headpiece, and also the length and width of the snorkel. Uh, so the Speedo snorkel um, will come in this sort of packaging. Um, and so it is easily assembled by just sliding the headpiece over the top and then kind of lining it up with just over the brow um, and then tightening it to the way that you need. Um, the straps are quite easy to, to pull to tighten. Um, and if you need to loosen it, there's two buttons here that you squeeze together and then you kind of feed it through and then attach it to your head. Um, what I really like about this snorkel is it's quite wide uh, at the top, so it's not too hard to breathe through. Um, it also does have a narrow top on it, so it will minimize uh, the wobble more than the regular cir circular ones all the way through. Um, what I really like as well is uh, the mouthpiece. So what we tend to find with the mouthpiece on the Phelps snorkel is it sits on the roof of your mouth a little bit more, the, the rubber part. Whereas these ones, uh, you have to constantly be biting down on this, but it doesn't have the rubber part sitting on the roof of your mouth. So some people really like it uh, on the Phelps snorkel, but some people find it pretty uncomfortable. Uh, for me personally, I really like the Phelps snorkel because it sits in quite well. Um, but you won't have that with the uh, Speedo snorkel. Um, so the mouthpiece is quite universal in terms of... Um, it's not uncomfortable for everyone. Um, it's quite, it actually is quite comfortable uh, for most people. Um, so that's the biggest difference between the two. Um, so the packaging for the Phelps snorkel will come just like this um, and how to assemble that. So you just cut off the zip ties, obviously. Um, it will come in two parts uh, just like this and the larger side on the uh, on the headpiece will go down and then it just simply slides over the top. Same as the Speedo snorkel, so um, they've got the easy to adjust straps on there um, and you just squeeze the buttons and feed it through to adjust to the size that you need for the strap. Um, also the differences between the mouthpieces on the Phelps snorkel and the Speedo snorkel. Um, so you'll have to constantly be biting down to secure the mouthpiece in your mouth on the Speedo snorkel, uh, whereas the Phelps snorkel, 
will kind of slide in and slot in a, a little bit better depending on if you find it comfortable or not. So that's all quite individual uh, in terms of what you feel like you need. Uh, braces as well will also cause uh, you know, a little bit of difference between the two. Um, but there's no uh, better option for that. I guess it's same as uh, picking a snorkel would be uh, quite individual. So you just need to see what is best suited for you and, and what your coach needs it for. Uh, so uh, snorkels are really good for uh, maintaining head position and, and focusing on technique through stroke. Um, people will generally go for swim snorkels um, that go over the front uh, to also stop uh, a bit of neck pain uh, that is typically found when doing kick sets as well. So lifting up the head constantly. Um, so if you're experiencing a lot of neck pain during kick sets, I would highly recommend getting yourself a frontal snorkel. So uh, we have all different kinds here at the shop. So whatever it needs to accommodate you, we've got very basic um, snorkels and then we've also got more advanced ones, but they come with comfort and, and ease. So they'll have different features in all our swim snorkels. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.